hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to yet another video i know i've been mia for so long but i've just been busy with work i'm finally so happy to get a chance to do this video with you guys i hope you guys are safe please continue to stay indoors continue to wash your hands my name, say my name. if you claim you want me it ain't no babe. Um, I did just a short video asking if I should do this topic that I'm about to talk about and I got a lot of response both from the men and from the women and they wanted me to do this video so I was like yeah cool so I'll do the video so here it is so basically the topic of this video is um, the truth about Sierra Leonean men so um, it's a hard topic for me to speak on because I'm a Sierra Leonean and I've definitely, you know, <laughs> got Sierra Leonean brothers, friends. So it's, it's a very difficult topic for me to speak on, but I just felt like I needed to speak on it. What I'm about to talk about, I'm not talking about all Sierra Leonean men, okay? I'm talking about 90% of Sierra Leonean men. The 10%... God bless you, continue to be kings, you are loved, you know, continue to do the good things that you do to ladies. So basically, this topic crossed my mind because um, I've had experiences, I've seen friends have bad experiences, I've seen moms, aunties, you know, suffer from um, Sierra Leonean men and when i did the first shot video i had had guys in my dms on insta telling me oh it's not just the men you know even the women and i get it i'm not here to say oh the women the Sierra Leonean women are more better than the Sierra Leonean men so i'm so sorry for the men i know you all are gonna go wild on me now but you know i had to do this one for the ladies and i will surely do another video if you guys want talking about Sierra Leonean women as well as I said earlier I'm not talking about all Sierra Leonean men but I'm talking about um majority of uh Sierra Leonean men 90% of Sierra Leonean men according to what I've seen and the experiences I've got as a woman as well so the first thing I wanted to address is that or one of the truths that I came across was that why are Sierra Leonean men so rude and disrespectful Sierra Leonean men have got the most foul language I'm telling you they can cuss the living day out of a woman even if you go for example say you go to a club yeah and they want to chat to you or something and you're like you know you know you just like walk off and they would actually get so mad and I'm just thinking, why are you mad? Like, if someone doesn't want to talk to you, they don't want to talk to you. Just because you see a girl at the club doesn't mean they're single. So why are you now angry? Because they don't want to talk to you. The Sierra guy would actually start using foul language on that girl, that woman. Just because the woman doesn't want to talk to you, the girl doesn't want to talk to you. Sierra men... Are so disrespectful like the Shalonian people know that because there are voice notes of you know Sierra Leonean men cussing a woman like the, the the foul language in that voice note yeah trust me <laughs> you would never have imagined it's coming from a man they are so rude and disrespectful it's an example of how Ceylonian men are so rude and disrespectful. So you are dating a Ceylonian guy. A few, you know, months down the line, you find out they are married. So you attend this event, and then, you know, it happened that the wife of this guy is there, and you happen to be there as well. So the guy now comes and speaks to you and tells you, oh, you know, um, if you hold on for me, I'm just gonna drop her home. And I'll come back and pick you up. And then we can spend time together. How rude. You're telling the girl 
you are telling the girl to wait for you whilst you go and drop your wife at home and then come back and speak to me and then we can spend time together how rude is that this is why i say Sierra Leonean guys are so rude and disrespectful i'm telling you the guts that they've got you know truth about Sierra Leonean guys is that they are just lazy in my opinion that's how i feel i feel like they're just lazy in terms of a Sierra Leonean guy would want a, a woman to look after him even though he's out and about in the streets doing whatever he's doing with other girls yeah he would stay in the girl's house living with the girl's parents and the girl would be feeding him and everything they all live and stay in their girlfriend's houses just because they don't want to pay rent or their parents houses just because they don't want to go out there and just work hard and be a man all they want to do is chill 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 like go out and look for a job they don't really you know go to university and to be honest when i'm when i mean by like Sierra Leonean guys i'm talking about the guys that were born and raised there you know or even if they were born in the uk or if they were born abroad they spent a lot of time with guys that were born and raised there so they like they get the same bad habits but this is mostly Sierra Leonean guys that were born and raised there that I'm really talking about they don't want to go to uni they feel like it's a waste of time since I know there are exceptions I definitely understand but majority of them they have no excuse whatsoever okay no excuse so why are Sierra Leonean guys liars this is another truth and i know when i when i said this a couple of days ago before i did this video i know guys were jumping on me all oh, men lie but i understand that all men lie yeah i lie no one is perfect okay but what i'm saying is the way the Sierra Leonean guys lie so a guy a Sierra Leonean guy will be married with kids have a family like have no problems with the wife come out see an innocent girl and tell them they are very single they are not married no kids and even when you find out how they will still lie why why are you lying why are you lying they will still lie that they have no one no relationship whatsoever so there are so many stories of you know a girl being in a really getting into a relationship with them finding out they're married the guy is still denying you know even when you catch them with photos of their wedding they will still find a way they'll tell you oh we got married because of papers another big lie really that is their best line we got married because of papers oh you know me and her you know she's 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 the one like getting on to me i don't like her. i've told her i don't love her anymore meanwhile you're living in the woman's house she's feeding you she's clothing you you've got a baby and you're still lying these are the type of lies your union men give Another truth about Sierra Leonean men is the gossiping. Why do Sierra Leonean men gossip so much? They like to talk and discuss about girls. For example, yeah, if they approach you and you say no, then your name becomes their topic in the next group discussion saying all sorts about the girls oh that girl trust me i did this to her i did this to her my friend did lies 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 why are serenian guys such gossips they have groups i'm telling you they have groups where they phone each other just to discuss about women 
and lie and when i mean discuss about women it's just saying nonsense lies about innocent girls it's only sierra men in their groups will each friends of men about four of them will each come and try to get with the same girl if that one tries and fails the other one comes why who does that Cylonian men they gossip about everything and anything which is because they don't want to go and have a job because i bet if you have a job and you go to work you will get tired when you get back and you want to sleep or find another way of you know having your me time other than gossiping Cylonian guys i don't even want to really go into the cheating bits because again they would say oh all men cheat but they would be in a relationship with you for so long they know that they don't really love you they have someone else that they love yet still Cyrillian men will still keep on the relationship another thing that Cyrillian men do is you know, leaking nudes of innocent girls. They will discuss that video in their group chat and they will not hesitate to actually expose you. So you have to be very careful. Nigerian guys, no good sense of humor at all. No sense of humor. They won't take you out on dates except as i said there are always exceptions but there are not many okay so union men don't take girls on dates don't do all this you know fun stuff in terms of like you traveling having fun you you know exploring stuff you know in terms of going places seeing different things they are not interested in that because they are not exposed they are not really educated and they are so domineering i'm telling you the way they demand respect the way even though you were the one sweating and killing yourself and doing all these things they are so so domineering another another truth about serenian men they are very proud Cyrillian men are very proud men and I understand that you have to have pride in you but too much of pride is not good. A Cyrillian man will hurt you and for him to accept and come and tell you I am sorry. <laughs> That's Jesus Christ Camo. But they're not going to do Salom them. We love Una okay but you guys need to change when i need for change then when i waste them when i need for really change why when i did mislead like just be honest okay and don't this thing of cellulian guys bringing innocent girls into situations and you know causing them so much stress Quoting, I love you, you know, you're not patient with me. How do you want a girl to be patient with you when you know you have a wife and a family? Sort that life first and then come and approach the girl that you like. But that story of, you know, I mean, me wife get problem, you know, I not really like her, now you are like, when you know you guys are still married, why would you want to put something in that situation? If that girl was your daughter, would you really like that to happen to that girl, to your daughter? No, I don't think so. So please, una make sure say una don't solve una marital issues before una they can drag innocent Pekine into her. And the Cyrillian uncles, that won't leave the innocent girls alone. Please, with a big una. Stay with your wives. Cyrillian uncles, 
please stay with your wives. I no say abroad can make some of you. Even though I don't own, you are still they they look a bit young. Something I make you can forget on our age. But please, you guys should be setting examples for the younger ones, not destroying them. And I know that they're gonna. This is gonna cause backlash. That you know, most of them are saying. Um, you know, you're slandering Australian men, you are this, you are that, but it's just the truth. As I said earlier, it's not all Australian men. There are very, very good Australian men out there. There are exceptions, okay? I have met them. I'm, I'm so glad to have met some of them. But majority of the Sierra Leonean men are not good and the thing is I feel like they have gotten away with so much that they haven't had time to change or they don't have people that really speak to them for them to see what they're doing is wrong please girls be careful okay and the 10 percent of the selenium men that are amazing god bless you continue to be kings okay and for the 90 percent we shall continue to pray for you guys for the lord to intervene mess of our change and mend on our ways Okay, Salomon, man, man they're not going to say, you know, sit down today, let me cook for you. They are not, they are, they are not romantic at all. 90% of the Salonian men are not romantic. When they say women, they think women should do, be the ones to clean, to cook everything yet what do they bring to the table nada they don't bring anything to the table salonian men are not romantic at all <laughs> i know they're gonna hate me after this but it's fine those that know know that i'm speaking the truth i have no reason to lie but I want the Sierra men. They've got so much potential in them. I'm telling you, Sierra men. Sierra in general are one of the most humble, you know, people, good people out there. But I don't know. I feel like sometimes it's because, you know, they've left home and come abroad now and they're adapting to, you know, things that are happening here, watching telly. And I think that has gotten into them so much. Anyway, guys. I, I think I should stop here for now. <laughs> if you guys want more videos, let me know, okay? I will share my experiences. There are story times coming up, guys. You want to be locked to that. Um, thank you so much for watching my channel. I hope you guys continue to keep safe, okay? Continue to be safe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, got it.